Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can automate a really annoying task that you have to do at the beginning of every year on your website. For example, if we take a look here at our website, typically every time there is a brand new year, you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will have to manually update your little copyright notice here at the bottom of the page. And that is something that can be kind of annoying to do. It's not really something that's fun to do. And it's something that's also pretty easy to forget. However, in this video, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of code that will help you automate this so you can completely forget about it from now on and your website will always have the correct year. And since this does require a little bit of code, I will have a link in the description to our website where you can just copy and paste the code onto your website. But as usual, I recommend you watch this video to learn how to set it up properly so that it works on your website. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Since we do have to add code here, what we need to do is go ahead and enable dev mode. So we're gonna come over here to dev mode and just turn this on. The next thing that we're gonna want to do is come all the way down to our footer and let's just go ahead and name this text right here. Maybe we can go ahead and call this one copyright text. And since this text is actually in the footer, we actually need to open up the master JavaScript page right here. If you don't see this here, uh, or if it's closed, you can just open this up right here, come up to pages and press master page code or JavaScript file. And you'll notice it opened up a brand new page here. The reason we wanna do it in this file opposed to just the home page is because the footer is visible on all of your pages. It's not just visible on the home page. So we wanna make sure that on all the pages, the copyright text is being updated. But now that we have this part set up, we can go ahead and start coding. So the first thing that we're gonna to want to do here in the code is I'm just gonna delete the comment real quick. And we need to kind of create a couple variables. So what we're gonna do is say const, and we're gonna to say today is equal to, and we'll say new, and we'll say date with some parentheses. So basically the date is pulling the date that it is currently, and we're making this a variable called today. And then we need another one that says, another variable that says year, and this is going to equal to today dot get full year. And we'll add some parentheses just like that. And so now the last thing that we need to do is actually call this text right here. So what we're gonna say is dollar sign W. And we're gonna say copyright text. Then we're gonna say dot text is equal to and now we need to use this little back slash type thing. I, don't, I forget what this is called, um, but typically on the keyboard, this will be above your tab and under your escape. So it's just gonna be right there. On Windows computers, it might be in a different spot. So you might just have to look around for that. But we need these right here. And then we can go ahead and write in our message. So we want copyright. And then now what we need to do is say dollar sign we're gonna add some squiggly brackets. We're gonna say year with a closing squiggly bracket. And just for fun, we'll say my company name and we'll just do all rights reserved. Okay, so now that's basically gonna be the text, just like that. So now if we go ahead and press preview, so actually what I'm gonna do right here first is I'm gonna say this is 2020, just to show you that the year is updating because I'm currently filming this in 2022. So I wanna make sure that when I press preview and publish that it shows the correct year, which is 2022 for me. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and press save. We'll go ahead and press preview. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it says copyright 2022 Wix fix all rights reserved, which is basically what I put in the code. Now let's just go ahead and publish this real quick. And once again, we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom just to make sure that it's working properly. So if you want to add this to your website and help automate your website so you don't ever have to really worry about this again, there's a link in the description where you can actually grab this code and just put it on your website. 
But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.